you signs for Horn Francis. He's running out there now. Yeah, it has been. It's, um, he's made some really good steady progress since surgery and um, you know, he ran just before Christmas and he's building up his running now. He'll probably get back involved in some training and some skill drills by, I would hope, by the end of next week, but not too far after that if it's not. And Fantasia as well? Yeah, yeah, really promising. He's had a really good, so far he's had a really good build in his, uh, his pre-season, which we know is really important to him because his first year he had a really strong pre-season, played well. Um, unfortunately, last year was well documented. He didn't get anything go his way, and uh, we, we certainly miss him. He's one of our one of our real shining lights in the preseason, and one that all the Port fans can look forward to seeing. Hopefully, out there early in the new year. It's a bit of a cliche, and let him be like a new player, but yeah. does it almost feel feel that way if you get him back to full? Yeah, I, look, I have to agree with you. I think it is. It's like having a new player and a really talented player come to you. You know a top-end player that comes to your list, you, you get all excited. I mean, we've been excited about Willie coming to the club and Jason coming to the club as well, but we've got a ratio also, you know, basically for us as coaches is, um, as you said, um, almost like another new player for 2023. How exciting is Willie? Yeah, Willie's been really good since he, he got here. He started early, he got back into training early with our young players and, you know, he's trained all the way through the whole session. He's been on camp with us, really got to know his new teammates well. He's, he seems to be enjoying his time already here at Port, so hopefully um, the upside for us is that he's, um, you know, a really talented player and brings some real class to our front end. Who else has been impressing you across this preseason? Well, it's been a bit... I mean, before Christmas, there's a number of the young players who have been training really well, and, and you know, the, the youth that we've got in our side, the younger players and the well-known players that we talk about, you know, Rosie and Butters and Dersmer and Bergman and... You know, Mead, all those sort of boys who have been back and training well. Lockie Jones, there's, there's, there's quite a few. Mitch Georgiatis, who's had a little bit of surgery but was training well before that. So plenty of excitement around our younger players. Touched on, on, on Francis, but what about the other lads on my duties? Notice Ollie looked like he was just doing a bit of running at home. Yeah, Ollie's uh, had some knee surgery uh, in, in the off season, and you know he's been a real careful and slow build for us. We've been very mon uh, very mindful of Ollie. He's such a big trainer that we've just got to manage him really well, and we've done that now. He'll he'll be back into training and some skills training again within within a couple of weeks. How important is getting this preseason, you know, right? Considering it was quite disappointing. Yeah, it's, it's critical. Look, it's really is critical to us that, you know, we've got 39 days now before our first internal game and the really important part for us as a footy club, all the coaches, all the players, everyone involved with the whole football club is to maximise those 39 days and, and put ourselves in a really um, healthy position to start the season off. Unfortunately, we weren't in that position last year. Hopefully we can, um, you know, have a bit more go our way at the start of the year. It seems like it's been, you know, quite a high intensity out there. What would you say that you're training with boys at the moment? No, it's an expectation at Port Adelaide that we do train hard and we train hard all the time. And um, you know, day one, as you're seeing today, they're, they're back at it and they're going pretty hard. So we expect that from our players all the time. Again, that 39 days that we've got to prepare ourselves, there's, there's a fair bit of that becomes um, fitness and physical. So we need to maximise that. And our boys, um, you know, they come back in pretty good shape. Tom, Tom Marshall looked like he got a bit of a knock at one stage where I think he finished the session fine. He all okay? yeah, yeah, he just copped a whack to the side of his neck and he made sure he was okay before we sent him back out there. TJ was around him, so Tommy on his birthday let him know that he was out there again. What's the goal for this season? What is the club's yeah, mentality after last season? Yeah, look, our, our, our mentality for, for, for the season is to, to prepare ourselves the best we possibly can to give ourselves a chance because we know that ultimately, um, you know, last year wasn't a season we, we wanted. We put ourselves behind the eight ball at the start and we chased really hard and we stuck at it, but we didn't get where we were expected to go and we expect to be better than that. And, um, you know, like every club in the competition, you know, we, we need to maximise our period of time now to make sure we get our chance to have a great season. And if we can do that, we expect it will bounce. Expectation finals for you guys this season? I think every club, if, if you're setting your expectations at an AFL football club and it's not at the very least finals, you'd, you'd, be, you'd be being a bit foolish. So, so for us, we, we as a footy club never shy away from the fact that we have high expectations on what we try to achieve, and, and that's no different this year. But I think if you asked all 17 other coaches in the AFL, they'd give you the same answer. And how's Josh Sim looking? Yeah, Josh, has, uh, he's had some surgery again in the off-season and he's, he's building his way back into it now. We've seen him out there running today. He's starting to build again. He's one that's probably a little bit further back than, than, than Ollie. If, if you use Ollie as a reference point, he's probably got another three or four weeks behind Ollie before he builds back into full training. So uh, we're really positive about what, he, what he's looking like at the moment, but ultimately we need to see him be able to get out there and do it. Is he a viable option to replace Amy on the wing? 100% he is, yeah. He's a high-quality player and you know, a high draft pick that our club invested big into and um, you know, we, we look after him really well now. We'll get the return over the next 10 or 12 years, not just in the next um, you know, 12 months. Just on the fitness of some of your players, how's your hand? 
<laughs> yeah, my hand's okay. I, um, I had a little bit of surgery on my wrist uh, just before Christmas to get it right from an old war injury. Um, playing football, you get hurt sometimes, and mine was a, was a wrist that needed fixing. And how's Robbie looking, being back at the club, you know, around the boys still? Well, he looks like he could play, but I'm not allowed to do that this year. So, um, no, it's good to have Rob. I mean, he's such a such a well loved player at our footy club. I mean, he's one of our greats, and um, it's just good to see him back around. And the day one of pre season, we see Robbie Gray at the club. It sort of makes the coach sit there and go, oh, should we or could we or maybe? But Rob says no. He's very comfortable in retirement.